Okay, um, yeah, I hit, accidentally hit stop on the video, so we're gonna do it this way. All right, I had talked through a couple of things. I'm gonna show you now what, um, what, what it looks like when the machine's actually running it. So my favorite part of this, um, you reference home, I'm not gonna home it because it takes forever, but um, you click on home, everything moves to that bottom left-hand corner, um, if that's the way you work. And then what you can do is, I have these great little, uh, these are actually PWN CNC. If you go to their website, you can order them or you can get the, the file. So I screwed these into my table um, because I do a lot of cutouts right now. I'll do some other types but in the future, but right now I'm doing a lot of uh, different cutouts. This is, a, this is gonna be a, a base for a cabinet. So it's gonna have elliptical feet um, cutouts. Um, so I'm gonna cut four of these. But I, I put a lot of my work, uh, reference work here. It just drops in this corner. If you're doing a lot of flags, one after another, or other things that you need to um, uh, study reference plate, this is actually a kind of a cool way to do it. But here's a couple of things that are really important about this. G28, G, uh, G28.1, G28. So I didn't realize that the, the point one is the reset. I accidentally hit G30 twice uh, and had to hit the, the stop because it would, it would cram into the back side of my table. And I didn't realize what's happening is G30 is out of the, I guess out of the box, it's designed for a real big table. Since the X carbs are much smaller, you need to program those. So what you're gonna do is, and watch this, this is so much fun. This is my home position. And so um, it's my actual home. If I were to go to reference home, this is really loud, sorry about that. So the machine's got a home, um, it's got the three limit switches, so it's going to go where, where it's supposed to go for home. And then what you want to do is if you want to set up a workplace home, you'll actually jog over. So we covered this a little bit. Here's, um, I'm, I've got it moving one inch. Here's Y going forward, X going to the right, or if I want to move in diagonal, I can do both. And so I can jog over to where I want my machine. And then I can do my Z minus. I'm gonna change this to one real quick so it doesn't take forever. And Z minus is gonna go down. There's nothing wrong with the, the thing, it's just some harmonics based on the, the, the travel speed. And I'll, I'm gonna figure that out eventually. But um, anyway, let's say you got it right over your piece that you wanna keep it. You hit G28.1, it'll reset and say, all right, every time now I hit the G28 button, it's gonna go right to that corner. I've already done it, so I'm gonna show it to you. So here's my G28. Not sure why it's slow like that from a home position, but watch what happens now if I hit my G30 to get it out of the way so I can put on a new piece. Now it's nice and smooth, it's got the right speed. Um, I'll have to figure out what those um, travel speeds are and, and why it shows up a little different. But let's say I've moved it out of the piece, I take this piece out, I just finished it. I have another board I'm gonna put in. So I put in my new board, I'm ready to go and I'm ready to cut it. I want it to, to reference back to this home. I've saved G28, it comes right back to G28. And now, I go up here and I load my gerbil or whatever it is. Um, I'm a little, I haven't ever talked to you guys, so I have no idea what it's exactly called it. I'm gonna load the, the, the file that I wanna cut and then I'll, um, I will go to my probe screen, set that up. Um, probing is, is pretty easy. And then I'll hit send and send is the same as, hey, I'm gonna cut this. Now you'll notice if I click MO3, I definitely want to hit that before I hit send. Because that is actually going to turn my router on. Now what's cool is, you know how like sometimes you got to raise this stupid thing up so you can get the the um, dust boot in there? You could program a, a dust boot setting if you wanted to. I'll show you what happens under work coordinates. These are kind of cool. So say you cut like five different things. You cut flags. And then you do, I don't know, something round um, or Christmas trees or something. What you can do is you can program these work coordinates in by zeroing them out. 
So let's say I always want to go to something over here. What I'll do is I'll jog over. I think there's something that allows me to keep moving like that, but I'll figure it out later. Um, so I've, I've got the, the piece over here. I want this to be a new work, work home or whatever. What I'll do is I'll zero out my X and Y under G54. Now what will happen is, let's say G58 um, is a little different. So G58 is something I had in there before, so I'm gonna go to G58. Now I need to go back to G54 for this new piece. So what I'll do is I'll go to zero, and then I'll go to zero on that one. So you'll zero them out, and, and that means whatever position it, it is sitting at on the board, including the Z, you zero it. And so it, the zero location is that, that G number. So G59, if I put it right here, and I say zero it all out under G59, then when I move, you can see like when I move these coordinates, I'm gonna move over here to the left. That went up by one. If I come down here, that's gonna go up by almost one. But if I wanted to go to zero, zero is where I was before. Now I go back to zero. And for each one of these work coordinates, you have to, you wanna to get to zero to get to those positions. I have no idea what this negative 23 is. I didn't do set up G59, but I, it's probably somewhere off the table. I don't wanna mess with those. So I'll reset all of those at some point. Actually, I think it's probably helpful to zero all these coordinates just so you don't accidentally hit them. Um, because I have done that. So I'm, gonna, I'm not using any of these right now. I'm gonna zero all of them out. And that way, if I accidentally do something and go to zero, because um, negative 24, I think it's somewhere off the table here. So now they're out, all out. But you can write down G54 is like your flag setting and, and G56 is something else. But when it comes to everything that I do on a daily basis, um, if I was dealing with three quarter inch boards all day long, I would set G28, including the Z height, so that every time I stuck that in there, when I come in in the morning, I turn the machine on, G28, boom. All right, it knows everything it's supposed to do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my stuff. So uh, the last thing I'm, I'm gonna show you real quick is the, um, the probe screen. So if we pull up the probe screen here, I'm gonna, I can move it around. So I'm gonna move it forward <laughs> and over so I can get ready to probe it. And then I'll show you on the probe screen, we hook this up. It's just like an easel. I'll show you the, the differences. So now I've got the probe screen set up. What you do is to test it, you just hold this button down for test. You see where it's open. It means the connection is open. Now I close the connection. So I've, I've got con continuity there. So now when I go to probe it, I'm just going to click Z. And it's going to probe just like the easel did. Boom, it's, it's done. Had that same 50 retract feed rate and also um, the distance from the plate. It's a, it's a one inch and um, max distance for probing move. I think what that means is, let's say I had it set up way here and it moves to one inch and doesn't hit the probe, then it errors out. So you do know, you do need to know that you're gonna be pretty close so you keep that within under an inch. And now I just return to my, my main screen and now um, everything should be ready to cut. And so I'll send it to the, I'll, I'll load my file and then hit send and then everything will cut just fine. All right, hopefully that's helpful. Um, and uh, if you guys have tips or whatever, um, please put them in the comments. Thanks, bye.